Uh, when the uh, sirens went off in Marshall County yesterday morning, residents knew to take cover. However, uh, just last month in Texas, two towns, in fact, had tornado sirens go off in the middle of the night. They sounded for over an hour and a panic kind of ensued in those towns. And there was no threat of severe weather. There was no tornado threat. Those sirens had actually been hacked. So it left me wondering how vulnerable were the sirens here in the Tennessee Valley? Madison County's 130 sirens aren't like the warning systems of old. In years past, they were activated using tones over the air on radios. Eventually, emergency management agencies upgraded to a digital system, making the alarms more accurate and more secure. Sort of like a garage door opener. Mm -hmm. There's a, a digital code that, uh, a secure code that mm -hmm. uh, gets regenerated so that uh, it's more secure. With the old system, anyone could easily trigger the sirens by copying the tones and replaying them. But now the agency receives a radio frequency and doesn't rely on an internet connection to sound the alarm. The director of Madison County's EMA says it adds an extra layer of security. There are protections in place to the best of our ability to keep somebody from hacking into our system or you know, coming over the, the, the public safety network. In fact, Jeff Birdwell says the Texas event caused Madison County to reevaluate its siren system for vulnerabilities. He tells me the system that was hacked was likely less advanced than the one used here. But here's something to keep in mind when you hear those sirens being tested every first Wednesday of the month. You should only hear the tone for 30 seconds. During a warning, the tone sounds for three minutes. Anything longer than that is a sign to seek more information. Just growing up, um, you know, sometimes you hear them, sometimes you don't. It's not, not something that you can depend on. Hey, that's actually good advice anytime you hear one. The sirens aren't meant to be heard during every warning in every location. Their purpose is best served outdoors to alert people of inclement weather if they're away from their phones and TVs. The, when the siren goes off, and I get it to where they're used 99.9% .9 of the time for a tornado warning, but really what the siren means when you hear it is something's wrong, go seek more information. Now Jeff and the Madison County EMA are confident that nobody has tried to hack our systems thus far, tornado sirens, and that's good news. That's because it's not just vandalism to tamper with a public warning device like tornado sirens, it's an arrestable, prosecutable offense.